Before we dive into maximum likelihood, we first need to contrast math stat class to probability class. So probability you learned about last semester, and the basic idea of probability class was here is some parameter theta, and maybe theta equals two or seven or whatever, and now that I've told you what theta is, tell me something about x. So maybe we're looking for like the expectation of x, or maybe we're looking for the probability that x is less than three, or something like that, or maybe the distribution of x. Um, but that was the basic idea of probability class. Here's theta, tell me stuff about x. Now in math stat class, we're swapping it. We're swapping what we know and what we want to know. So in math stat class, we collect a bunch of data. Usually it's in a random sample, meaning that we have independent, identically distributed random variables. So x1 through xn is our data set of size n. And now we're saying, here's this data, tell me something about theta. So maybe that means we're looking for the point estimate of theta, maybe like theta hat. So that could be like x bar or the sample proportion, something like that. Um, or we could be looking for interval estimates. So we know about confidence intervals from our applied stat classes. Other things we might want to know about, we might want to know what is the variability of theta hat. So usually we call that variability standard error. Um, so those are some things that we could be looking for. So the first thing that we're going to be talking about in this class are point estimates. So point estimates are estimates of our parameter theta. So usually we might denote those like theta hat. And since it's a point estimate, that means we're only guessing one single point. So we're not guessing an interval, just one single point. So we're trying to look for our one best guess of what theta might be. Um, some things that we should probably think about before actually beginning our point estimation is we need to know what values of theta are fair game. So what values can theta take on? So we usually call this um, capital omega, and so this is the parameter space. So this is the set of all possible parameter values. So this is important because we don't want to be guessing like negative numbers for variance or something like that. We want to know what are all the possible values that our parameter could take on, and then we're going to try to guess a point, get a point estimate that's in that parameter space. Another thing that's important to know before we get into point estimation is we need to see, is our point estimate on average going to be estimating our parameter? So we call this an unbiased estimator if it does, on average, estimate our parameter. So in other words, we're talking about on average, so we're looking at the expectation because that's our like long run average of our point estimate. We want that to be equal to whatever parameter we're estimating. So if we want to write that with notation, expectation of theta hat, we want that to be equal to theta. So if we have an unbiased estimator, the expectation of our point estimate is equal to our parameter. And if we have a biased estimator, then that means that the expectation of theta hat is not equal to theta. So that is, in a nutshell, some of the things that we're going to be talking about when we talk about point estimates.